Good evening and welcome back to week seven. We're going to do something a little different format this time. First, we're going to recap last week's games. Two games there was. Well, it was supposed to be four, but we had unfortunate rain. And so it'll be a little quicker than uh, we'll have in the future. So, go Mon ahead. Monday night, we were supposed to have a game between Maurice Haber's Dictators and uh, Jackie Towell's Mariners. And it got rained out, unfortunately. Um... Whatever the way, whatever got rained out. Whether you say it rained or it didn't, it got rained out. Um, Tuesday night, we came back to the field, and it was Mike and Ike's part two against Fifty Shades of J. This was the marquee matchup we, we spoke were, about last week. We were previewing this last week, and let's just recap. Um, I predicted a sweep for Fifty Shades of J. Okay. And uh, what happened? Well, I'll tell you this: it did live up to the pitching. Uh, duel that we thought it was going to be between the famous good old Rob Solomon and um, Ike Rubber Arm Mavora. They both pitched unbelievable. Um, from what I remember, I think game one had no score in the sixth. Maybe that was game two. Whatever it was, both games were tight, tight games. I know uh, one of the games ended up being an 8 2 score by Shades of J. But that was not indicative on the matchup. It was like two to one going into the last inning. I have and a then question for you. It up. I have a question for you. How was the defense for Mike and Ike's part two? Okay, defensively, I'll tell you like this. Very interesting. The field was not in its greatest of conditions. It was a dry night, and it was dry as can be. That's maybe part of the problem. Maybe it needed a little bit of water. The infield was fast and hard, but it really didn't take effect on the game. I think it's because both pitchers were um, really making the opposing hitters hit like shallow fly balls. No, the reason why I'm asking you about their defense, because I believe their Achilles heel is their defense. Well, I'll tell you like this. They had a very, how do we explain it? The play to play in general was good. I mean, the infield didn't really make many errors. There were two blunders in the outfield. One on... Uh, Right fielder, and the, they were playing four across. There were two players. They've been playing four across the entire season. Well, so. they mixed it up that night. But there was like a play, fly ball to right. I mean, an easy fly ball. Abraham Haber camped under it, said, I got it. And somebody else jumped in and said, no, I got it. And then he just jumped in and ball hit his glove and rolled. And that caused to a run early. No, but I'll tell you one. the truth. So that was bad. Wait, before. And then there was another play in the same area. Um, maybe in the game two, that they had a similar problem where they almost collided. And then there was one other play where the left fielder generally, had, he had a pretty good day uh, defensively for the most part, Moko, but he had another play where there was an easy pop-up and he just dropped. But that wasn't their issue. Play to play, they were good. They just came across brain farts in the middle of the field. Like, um, where do I throw the ball? What do I do with the ball? Uh, holding the ball. Nobody covering a bag. So something um, we got to keep our eye on yes. for uh, this it's point It's the forward. simple fundamentals that the guys in the field and Ike on the mound, you can get a little frustrated. And you can tend to maybe lose a batter here and there when stuff like that happens. So the general defense, Lewis played very strong at third base. Um, Max Antar at second. The general plays were made, like I said. In general, the, the, the regular ground ball, there wasn't a ball going under a guy's legs. There wasn't an overthrow. There wasn't many of that. You know, when stuff really, that's not what affected their game. What affected their game defensively were the fundamental things that, like, they didn't know where to go, what base to go to, how to, you know, yeah, but let's stuff not, like let's that. Not lose sight of, the, let's not lose sight of the fact the story of that night was once again Rob Salmon giving up three runs in total. He uh, was. Against a really strong lineup that was that was right in it, right there to take first place from them. It's true. And he shut them down once again. It's uh, I believe over the last six games he gave up eight runs in total. He was, Rob is the real deal. Yeah, nah, he pitched great. Like we know, Mike and Ike's did put up runs over the first uh, four or five weeks. Whatever. Well, let me put it out there about Rob Salmon, by the way. Rob Salmon last year was ten and three in the regular season. Also had two. a great ten and two in the regular season. I'm sorry, had a great season. And then when the playoffs came, uh, they had a big lead also in the playoffs. I remember, and the wheels came off, so to speak. So let's see how Rob, with this layoff he's going to have right now, 
will uh, do in the playoffs because he he locked up the one seed. That's it. They finished their season, actually. While everybody else is duking out, see what seed they're going to be. That Shades of J team, Isaac Dweck and Rob and Mo Shama, David Rishti, those guys all together. Hold up. David Rishti. David Rishti. David Rishti. Let's say his and name one more time. David Rishti. He came, I'll tell you, out of everybody who hit on that team that night, the only one who I could say struck the ball hard almost every time up against Ike was David. I know for a fact his first time up he had a line drive up the middle. Then I remember there was a play with a shortstop, made a nice scoop, but made a bad throw to first. That was one of his hits too. But I do remember him hitting a nice line drive hit to left field. He's been hitting the ball well. But the reason the why ball. I'm saying his name multiple times is because I received multiple texts and emails and phone calls about how David Arishti, uh is needs the recognition for the show. Everyone has to know David Arishti, I didn't hear that, but I David Arishti, and he's playing a very strong third base. David Arishti. He's he's a player you'd always want on your team. He's that. Um, I don't know if I should use the word scrappy. Last time I used that word, I got in a little trouble. But he's that pesky, scrappy guy who you'd want it to play with the runner on second. And he's a, you know, the way you use by David, he's a tough out. That's right. That's he the is, way you use a tough out. He's a tough out. He's a great base runner. Um, All right, let's do the David Rishti show. <laughs> so anyway, they, the Shades of Dre swept. Mike and Ikes is right now not a lock for the two seed, but we all know the top three seeds are what counts, so they still uh, are in pretty good position to do that. I still think they'll end up in the two seed, the way uh, the matchups have gone, who they beat, and they're playing the A team. They're going to be hungry to win, I know that. Let me, wait, 